Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Messenger Mercury in Practical Taurus, Square Transformative Pluto, Retrograde in Humanitarian Aquarius. So it, it might feel like the universe is throwing hands today. Bob and weave as you breathe through it. Step back from that initial clap back energy and see the real wound in the other person. Don't sink to their level. Rise and shine like the lantern you are. Your elder Futhar. Othala, the letter O, meaning property. Associations are inherited property possessions, aid in physical and spiritual journeys, ancestral homeland. Today your focus is on physical or spiritual journeys that help you to get rooted in your ancestral ways. Your daily romance angel oracle card for May 17th, 2024 is retreat. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. The romance angels see that your love life blossoms as you spend time alone with your partner or by yourself. It appears that you've become confused or conflicted by other people's advice. It's a time for you to disconnect so that you can better hear your own feelings and opinions. If you are in a partnership, spending time together apart from others will renew your commitment and take it to the next level. This could mean taking a vacation, going on a nature hike, enjoying a long drive, or turning off the phones and computer as you both enjoy a quiet afternoon at home. The painting in this card indicates a honeymoon, which could be the literal message. So there may be a deepening of commitment or a new serious relationship if you're currently single. This card may indicate an upcoming engagement, wedding, renewal of vows. These activities are more meaningful as you spend time alone with your partner. If you're presently single, this card guides you to spend time by yourself, meditating upon your true feelings and thoughts. Be sure to take action based on any intuitive guidance. This strengthens your energy which helps you rapidly attract and manifest your loving partner. Your Daily Fairy Wisdom Oracle card for May 17th, 2024 is Gift Revealed. Card 44, Gift Revealed. Surprise! Surprise someone today. Fairies love good surprises. However, when they are faced with a surprise that isn't quite what they've asked for, they pout. Pouting soon turns into a smile and laughter as they realize everything comes with its own gift. They always look until they find the gift. If life gives you something that you aren't completely thrilled with, keep an open mind. Often the best things come disguised. Look below the surface and see what a person or situation holds for you. Do not be quick to judge new people. Not everything is revealed on the spot. Connect with the person and understand where they are coming from. Their experience is different from yours. So take the time to see what makes them tick and what they have to offer. They are just as important as you are. Do the same with situations. Understand that what appears to be the case may not be the truth at all. Remember that solutions can come in the strangest of ways if you allow them to do so. Always ask that spirit create the perfect solution for you. Find the gift in all things. 
your chant? O spirit of the night that hides the late of day, I call upon your wisdom to help me on my way. To look below the surface and see what lies within, I cast about some fairy dust to sprinkle at my whim. I judge not that what I see, but look and let it be. For I do know within my grasp a gift is there for me. So be it. Your Daily Starseed Oracle card for May 17th, 2024 is Star Bathing. Star Bathing, Light Body, Crystal Grid, Transmission, Activation. The stars are constantly showering emanations onto the crystalline grid of the Earth. When things are in balance, the planet also sends information back to the stars. Many star seeds have come to the earth at this time to help shift the planet vibrationally. To activate the ancient codes of wisdom that humanity has forgotten. And all of that information is stored in the crystalline grid. If you pulled this card, you may be being called to begin working with the stars and the crystalline grid of the earth. Some people believe that the crystalline grid of the earth anchors divine frequencies into the planet. You may be guided to journey to particular places on the earth to unlock these cosmic codes with your presence. You may also be interested in the practice called star bathing. This card commonly arises because you're here to connect with the crystalline grid of the earth either in your hometown or by traveling to other places without quite knowing why. It can also mean that your light body, the energy body in its highest form, is being activated. If this resonates, take things extra slow in order to integrate these, this change in vibration. Your star seed activation, place your hand on your heart portal and whisper the following. I open myself to receiving the wisdom of the crystalline grid beneath me. May the stars and the earth inform and heal me. And as they do, may it heal the earth too. Your daily priestess of light oracle card for May 17th, 2024 is hostilities. Card 31, hostilities conflict, unrest. The priestess in this card kneels next to the panther with her arms raised to the moon, drawing on the power of the light she holds in her hands. The panther is growling, baring its teeth in protection, warning any intruders to beware. There may be a person or situation in your life that is abrasive or upsetting in some way. Perhaps something is coming in the near future that might make you feel defensive. Either way, this card is telling you to gather your resources and turn to the guidance of your own divine light and courage. Become more conscious of the people or situations zapping your energy or your sense of power. There may be a family member, a coworker, or a draining obligation that has taken its toll on you. Even if it has gone on for quite a while, it's finally time to choose to protect yourself and your own energy. This choice may cause others to be upset or even hostile. You may be tempted to diffuse the conflict by giving in, but that old unhealthy pattern must be resisted. You don't have to give in to habits of fear anymore. So don't shy away from conflict or unrest. You deserve to act on your own behalf. Be brave in the face of confrontation and know that you are capable of seeing it through to the other side. You have the fierce determination and strength of the panther within you and the light of the divine assistance is 
always at hand. Your affirmation, I am strong and resourceful in any situation. I believe in myself and my ability to take charge. Your daily energy reading for May 17th, 2024 is the astrology is telling you that the idea is to politely correct someone, no matter what their tone is. Othala says, what's yours by inherent nature will always come to you if you take action. The romance oracle reminds you that you've heard enough advice on this topic and it's time for you to make a decision for yourself. The fairies remind you that you can choose to find the joy and laughter in all things. The starseed oracle informs you that a uh, creator can only heal the wounds you are willing to talk about. The priestess of light oracle reminds you that you do actually have the ability to correct whatever or whoever is mucking things up. So it appears as if somebody's gonna be coming at people sideways today, and you might need to politely remind them how you're to be addressed. And uh, you, uh, this appears to have the energy of enough. And I understand, I mean, uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, Taurus and all of uh, my, my uh, asteroids there. And then, so my healing process is all very much a practice. Taurus. And then Libra North Node, uh, Libra Ascendant, Libra in my Pluto, Gemini in my Venus. And what do all those signs have in common? When they've had enough, they've had enough. And their cutoff game is hard. And they will talk very directly. And they will just like that. Yeah, you best not come, basically, is the undertone, the edge there. Best not come. Okay. So it does appear that somebody's going to be overstepping bounds somewhere in there. And it's going to either be their woundings, like your light is irritating their darkness, or that could be reversed. Their light could be irritating your darkness. And you're either going to take this as an invitation to go heal those wounds in yourself, go heal this wound in within this relationship, or you're just going to be done speaking to those people. I encourage you to heal the wounds one way or the other, because even if you don't talk to those people, there's still going to be wounds in you from that interaction that you need to go take care of. <laughs> so just remember when somebody's stepping at you with the audacity that they just bought on sale somewhere, and <laughs> that, uh, you don't actually have to accept any of that and go laugh at the ridiculousness of them because what kind of grown person Especially if they're not your, they're not your doctor, they're not your lawyer, they're not a paid professional that you're paying to get their advice, and they're not a person who's paying you, then what kind of grown person thinks they have the right to step into another grown person's life and tell them how to run it unless you need something from them? And if you need something from them, then you better find a way to get that some other way so you don't have to deal with this toxic person. Because that's really basically the only choice that you there have. So laugh at the audacity of people who think they have the right to define you for you as you go about your day. Because anything else, quite frankly, you just let them win. <laughs>